I'm Chris Platt, I'm a speech and language therapist and this video is an extra to accompany a series of vocabulary videos that I'm making on behalf of Ferrum Academy which is one of our partner schools. So thinking about dictionaries, whilst we will all look up the meaning of words online, perhaps on our phones from time to time, and that's a good skill for our children to learn to do as well. I am also a big fan of children learning to use a more traditional dictionary. Using a dictionary brings many skills. It can help with spelling, obviously, and looking up word meanings, but it also helps to show examples of how words are used in context, and it helps children to think about words in terms of their sound structure and to retrieve words, to find words based on their initial sounds. Additionally, a dictionary is a really helpful way of seeing homographs. So those are words that are spelt the same but have different meanings. Words like fair and bark and indeed pupil. But it's important to recognise that using a dictionary is actually a difficult skill that children have to learn. And if the dictionary isn't pitched right, if it's not at the right level for a child, then it will be hard for them to find the word that they want. And quite possibly the definition for the word they're looking up will be difficult to understand as well. In my experience, it's quite common for children to go to a lot of effort to look up the meaning of one word in a dictionary. And then they have to look up the meaning of words in the definition of that word because they didn't understand those either. Well, if that's the case, if there are too many words, if the dictionary is too big, it's too heavy, if the definitions are too difficult to understand, then it will just be frustrating for your child and it will put them off. So choosing the right dictionary for your child is important. Dictionaries aimed at primary and secondary pupils typically have an age range, which is useful as a guide. But you know your child as well, you know what they're like, you know about their reading skills. So choose a dictionary that will work for your child. Involve them in choosing a dictionary that will work for them as well. Companies like Collins and Oxford do ranges of different dictionaries for use at school. And Oxford also have a helpful post uh, on choosing a dictionary for your child. And I'll put a link to that in the description for this video. So if you watch the videos that follow, you'll see that I use this range of dictionaries, which is the Collins co-build range. Um, these dictionaries were recommended by two speech and language therapists that I've had training with, Stephen Parsons and Anna Brannigan. They are the therapists behind a very popular and useful approach to teaching vocabulary in schools called WordAware. The code build dictionaries were actually designed for pupils and adults who are learning English as another language. But that also means they are excellent for children and students with language difficulties, even if English is their first language. So in these dictionaries, the definitions are always written using simple language. So the words in the definitions shouldn't be more complex than the word you were looking up in the first place. The dictionaries also contain examples of how the words are used in context. And these examples are taken from real uses of modern English. And there's also a focus throughout on the academic vocabulary that's needed for school. So these dictionaries are definitely worth considering. If you are the parent of a student at Ferrum Academy and you would like to have a look at this range of dictionaries, let the school office know and I'll be able to arrange that for you. There is also a free online co-build dictionary. Again, I'll put a link to that in the video description. So this is the Advanced Learners Dictionary, which is the biggest of the trio that I own. This is ideal for parents and teaching staff as it helps you to find easier, more accessible definitions of words that can be complex to explain. And it also provides examples of how those words can be used. You'll see in the videos that I use this dictionary a lot. But this is very much a full adult dictionary. So it's big, it's heavy, there's a lot in it. And it's also unedited in terms of content. So thinking about swear words or sexual content. 
This dictionary is targeted at intermediate learners of English. So here we're really thinking about secondary school pupils, perhaps particularly Key Stage 3. Like all the CoBuild range, it's designed to use simple language to explain words and to provide examples of how words are used in context. And it has that focus on academic vocabulary that's needed for school. And finally, this is the primary version. So here we're really looking at Key Stage 2, children aged around 7 to 11. This is the dictionary that my son, who at the time of recording this video is in year four, uses. I can easily see this lasting him to the end of junior school and probably a little bit beyond as well. Also, as you'd expect, as the dictionaries become targeted towards younger age groups, there's some editing of the vocabulary that's included within them. So, I hope you found that useful and that you'll enjoy watching the other videos in this series, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.